Philip Taylor from our International Affairs Desk, what uh, Iris is saying there, um, because uh, we were talking to Rawe Taha, a correspondent in Beirut, a little bit earlier on, and he was saying that at this stage Hezbollah is saying that if there are incursions, they are very, very small. I mean, what form could this invasion potentially take, Philip? Well, it, it is, it's strange, picking up on what Iris was saying. Uh, I think that the Israeli Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, certainly feels that he um, is, uh, has the wind blowing in his favour right now over what has happened over the past few weeks, the way he's managed to infiltrate Hezbollah to uh, cause the attacks on the uh, pages and then the walkie-talkies to kill off several of the uh, key leaders, including Hassan Nasrallah. Um, and now is, time is ripe to go in there and finish off the job, if you like. And, and this is giving him the support base back at home in Israel, where even in one of the French papers today, they were describing him as a phoenix, uh, being be born out of the, the ashes that have been caused by the invasion of Gaza. So uh, it, it's difficult to, to know what is going to happen next, because this could all go very well for Israel. They could uh, finish up completely finishing off Hezbollah. Uh, they're looking for operatives, weapons, missiles, other key members of Hezbollah's hierarchy. Uh, they're going to back this up with air attacks, of course. It could go quite well, but it could all go disastrously wrong. And from what Iris was just saying, remember what happened in the the, the first incursion in 1982. They were just going in there for a rapid uh, incursion into Lebanon and stayed for 18 years. I don't think that's what Israel has in mind right now. And when you, you hear the word a limited ground offensive or the words limited ground offensive, uh, you have to remember that I think they, they're using the word limited to say limited in time because they want to go in there, get the job over and come out again because they know that if there are going to be numbers of Israeli soldiers who are going to be killed, not even talking about civilians or, or members of Hezbollah or, or Lebanese, uh, then that is going to pose a lot of problems for Benjamin Netanyahu uh, when he has to start answering questions about why this has gone wrong. Yeah, what about from the Hezbollah um, side of things, Philip? We're just hearing the last few moments, in fact, the Israeli military saying sirens are sounding um, in central Israel. I mean, Hezbollah has remained um, pretty defiant, hasn't it, since the, the killing of Hassan Nasrallah. But what threat could they pose to Israel in the event of uh, a fuller ground offensive? Well, that also is a very interesting question because uh, obviously Hezbollah are not going to say well, we are not ready to take on Israel. Are they bluffing or not? Have they been seriously undermined, destroyed? Had their communications knocked out? Probably. How many fighters are ready to uh, take up arms to fight against Israel? We don't know, but probably many, because uh, we were talking even before these uh, recent attacks took place of between uh, 50 to 100,000 Hezbollah fighters, 100,000, which is the, the figure given by Hassan Nasrallah himself. Uh, they have not all been knocked out, so there are many who are ready and willing to uh, take arms and try to fight against the Israelis. Uh, it's not the same terrain either that uh, Israel has seen in uh, the Gaza Strip, and Hezbollah is, has much more fire, firepower than, than Hamas. So this could be very difficult for uh, the Israelis once they get there. Of course, all these tunnels we've been hearing about as well, uh, where Hezbollah has been preparing for this uh, since 2006, basically. So it's not just a walk in the park for the Israelis. But we don't know right now, to answer your question, just what firepower and military backup uh, manpower that Hezbollah has but it's true that whatever tr whatever Israel tries to do uh, and to knock out Hezbollah, Hezbollah will not be finished off. Uh, and that is the threat that it could regroup and reform and pose a threat further on down the road.